Well, great afternoon. Well, I've got some decent news, and then, uh, you know, I'm still going on with the YouTube thing. Again, I fought with it all morning until this afternoon. Um, tried to go in through another way. You know, it tells you to uh, create a new channel. You have to create a new email address. It says right there, what is the name you're going to use? You put it in, and then it says, we have to verify this. <laughs> and since it wasn't created at a mail thing, you can't. So I, you know, did another one, created it in a mail thing, came back, put that in. No, you can't use that one. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> so I finally did get one um, to work, made a new email address, got it to work, and um, came over and, uh, you know, you merge the accounts. Again, Bob Kiss. So, uh, yeah, that's my not so good news of the typical stuff going on um but today i did get something that's going to be good um, as you know i've been living in my van here for months 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 and every time i've got to go to a store and get something i have to pack everything away unplug go back re-plug and then take all my stuff out again. It just is really annoying. And then driving this thing that's got everything in here and you hear it rattling as you're driving and everything. It's just, it's not a pleasant experience, okay? <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, you know, I can't go through the drive throughs with this. It's too high. I mean, you're, you're really limited. So uh, today I finally bit the bullet and I asked the manager here um, what it would cost to get a bigger space so I could bring my car. So I only have to unplug like once every, you know, two, three weeks to go dump the tanks. Um, and she's going to give me a larger space for the same amount I'm paying here. So. Um, Got Ronald over there working on that today to try to, you know, figure a quick way to get my car out here. And oh my God, that will just relieve so much pressure just to even have my car and be able to drive it again. I mean, it's been like, what, six months? <laughs> I would like to have my car. Because, you know, my car, I get double the gas mileage it's easier to just zip in and out it's so comfortable to drive so i am so happy that that's finally being taken care of as far as the house they are painting the guys are painting the garage door took the steer head down he'll try to pack that in my trunk so i can come out here and um See, you know, they said the market is just starting to open up again there. So, fingers crossed that something decent happens with the house. Oh, mercy. You know, she said, well, you can move over that space now if you want to. Just read both the meters. And I said, but I've got a lot of stuff coming. You know, I had to order some more summer clothes and stuff. And then I've got to get rid of... You know, I've just got to throw away my big quilt blanket that I had over here because you don't need it in the summer. And I've got nowhere to store it. So that gets thrown away. <laughs> you know? That's all my winter clothes got thrown away because there's just nowhere to put it. He's making sounds over here. So anyway, that's what was going on today but I am just this this channel thing is just you know driving me crazy um, 
I had to link up my email, sync it with this. That was a nightmare getting to. And then I had to add another email address because I found that the way they communicate to me is some crazy thing that goes nowhere. Okay, so I added an email address in there. So I just keep digging and digging and digging in this thing. And uh, see what I could find. But uh, I wish my daughter were out here. That's one thing she did for the, I guess, that company she works for. They do a lot of um, a library for the FBI and all these other places. Um, library systems and finding things. And she was, for a while, her job was trying to find the flaws in the programs. Okay? So to have her out here to do that right now would be great <laughs> if she could find out the flaw in this ridiculous thing. Um, maybe I'll call her later and see if she's got anybody. What she is is YouTube, but she doesn't have that problem. And you know, for the life of me, I've gone through the whole channel again to look for where you hide the channel. There was a thing there and now it's nowhere to be found. So again, this is like, you couldn't get anything more frustrating than what this thing is now. <laughs> Trying my patience. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here now and then I am going to read, I've got a couple of questions here to read on, so I'm going to get to those right away, and um, yeah, get those read and see what else is going on. I guess this new thing, they found a way around this arm steel to okay it. The White House is, you know, again, Mickey Mouse the way around it, even though they were, you know, Funding some of the guys that did the 9-11. Oh, they're just now finding that out? I mean, that was known way back, okay? Way, way, way back <laughs> that Saudi was funding some of those things. So, I mean, it just boggles the imagination, you know, um, what happens with that. Anyway, oh, did everybody see the Trevor thing that he put together, the Obama gate? <laughs> they did all these little Mickey Mouse things. Oh my God, he wore a tan suit. Oh, how could he do that? Fox News is all over it. I mean, just minuscule little things that he had done and Fox News was all over it. Like, you know, oh my God. And Trump can do no wrong, you know. <laughs> it's just, if you haven't seen it, uh, watch it. it. It's pretty funny. But yeah, Fox News, every single little thing Obama did, they were after him. So anyway, the craziness of that stuff happening. So I'm going to leave this here, get over so I can do the reading.